So we're looking at slide outs here, and I honestly feel like I've done this video three times, four times in the past, but it's because I'm always finding a better way to do it. The most effective, safest way that I have come across and started working with myself is to, if you have an ab wheel, that's what we'll use. Wheel stays underneath the shoulder while you bring the hip forward. Cheeks are engaged, midsection is tight. Then we let the wheel go. When you need to, we pull it back. What we never let happen is that midsection never lets go, so we never have our butt out. So hips in. And if you can tell, I'm active, like I'm actually shaking being in this position. We go as far as we're comfortable, keeping that tension as we come back. So hips are in the whole time. If you don't have an ab wheel, which these are like 10 bucks at Walmart, but if you don't have an ab wheel, furniture sliders on carpet, a towel on hardwood floor, uh, concrete, you know, well, polished concrete, anything like that works, works great. Same thing, my hands are underneath my shoulders. Once my hips are engaged, now my hands stop. Now I start letting the hands go, keeping that tension, pull back. My hips are always in to the movement. My midsection is always tight. I never let that happen. If we let that low back uh, arch, if we let those hips come out of the movement, low back is gonna take all that pressure.